The folks we are coming to you live from the EGS Ministerial Complex to the Spoon TV with me, Sylvester Chirokle. I'd love to welcome you to this program. So that's the 
away that money from them. Because they thought that the government gave us money, they would not give them that money. So there is a need for us to really educate the public. But is there a push there to jump out and run away? Because for this program, we don't force people into rehabilitation. When you are dealing with people suffering this disorder, you don't force them to go for treatment. You have to go for intern and push. And one of them, those who went there for voluntary tend to stay in the program, unlike those who just were coherent or influenced by family members or relatives. And I come to a short of two rehearsals for Valor, there to jump out. It was in the same way, two of our rehearsals for Valor, two of that they were closing and sent us. And they left us with a challenge to transfer clients from one center to another. And because of that, they were demotivated and left the program. On the second day of the government transition, it was not easy. Because of the transition time, addressing fear overwhelmed. Some of them were like, they don't know whether the program continues, they don't know the state of the program, and they left. These are lessons learned along. A very bit of funding is essential, as I said, to sustain the program more and momentum. It was so bad in November, we go back onto recruitment because there was no money. So, I guess we were able to be rehabilitated. When they went to the center to be recruited, we told them that we were not recruiting and they were so downhearted. So, as we were along the program, we thought that next time we'll be able to intervene so that these people can be rehabilitated. And more awareness on social behavior and communication. Also need to be replaced. For instance, improvement to the program was key for retention. As I said, those who enter the program on a voluntary basis tend to stay in the program, unlike those who were concerned by family members or friends. And that definition of terms and conditions includes the duration of clients stay at each rehab facility will be very important in moving forward. So, because some rehab centers at the, at the beginning, they did not tell us that they put the facility to increase more spirit, and that led to a high job hours. Let's start. The government of Nigeria should provide support to scale up this program to the remaining 11 counties. Monotel is not a barrier, may not only mass TV. There should be strategies to facilitate the mobilization of additional resources to holistic the farmers of the program. Government cannot do all, we need our national partners, and just on the rest of this thing, you can also help. That government intensifies public sensitization, awareness, including SBCC activities. On the management of SDG across the two counties. Government led institutional labs, we have a vision center. We have the YABC, KABC, and LRC. We need them to be recovered so that we can use them with service providers also. We need to establish and transform star base as a national detox center. Next up. Something you this other management is important because it helps to reduce the use of narcotic drugs and support topic substances among young people and children. But there is a need to intensify efforts to address the issue around supply control. Government needs to take full ownership in order to curtail this drug crisis that is posing a serious threat. To our national security. The addressing program needs to be fully supported and sustained through a joint effort of government, UN, CSO, philanthropists, communities, families, and others. Thank you.
so that's the overview of the this program. This is the Lindsay President Joseph Yama Boakai is carefully observing. And you will now we take a seat. Uh, you will now we take a seat to the lay podium. So I'm also seeing the uh, several government officials here, uh, including the senior program ambassador to the president. Yeah, Madame Madela Cooper, the Justice Before Minister, call the uh, Youth Expo Minister, are all here negotiating this uh, at direct youth program. Okay. Please put your together and welcome our senior So, Green Kimmer County Senator will now take the podium, make remarks. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. Minister, our UN resident coordinator, Minister of Justice and Representative of the Ministry of Health, advisors to the President, the UN family, Partners to this great program, parents of our graduates, our young people, the people that this country is paying on, ladies and gentlemen. I want to firstly say thank you to His Excellency President Joseph Mamboakai for his demonstrated commitment to rescuing Liberia. by intentionally targeting the young people who he will tomorrow leave this country with. A few months back, we were all concerned as national leaders as to where our country is headed, given the increasing number of young people that were considered at risk. The number here today may be small, but I think it is a great first step for which I appreciate the government and the partners for the effort. <laughs> to those of you who are working out of this program, I want to say thank you first step for the courage a message and anxious to agree to enroll into the program. As you are leaving today, let me remind you that you are in more challenge. Because all around you, you will find some of your peers who think your decision wasn't right. But guess what? It is an opportunity for you to lead others to join you. Because like I mentioned, the future of this country depends on you. And you will not contribute unless you are able to realize your full potential, which you cannot find in the end. So I want to urge you to remain focused, to work with the partners for the mutual defense for and all of the other service providers that have been working with you as you join me on. As previous speakers mentioned, you are our ambassador to a new Liberia. So keep focus, remain steadfast, and continue the journey out of at risk. Thank you. That's thank you, my thank you, Senator. Senator, for that encouraging. It's time to dramatize. It's time to dramatize. So at this time, we call the Arin Ada to do a drama for us. Please put your hands together and welcome them.
so a German will be performed. You can do the. You can do a rave. Yeah. Do it for the president. I see your German eyes. Oh, I do wish I wish you Ada Ada. I'm not going to give you a name. I'm going to give you a name. Who is the this? They will listen to me, sir. Let me watch how I got here. I think, but I have to be on. What do you do? When you have a new program, they prove me about a risk you. That's why I keep in it, they will kill you, bro. No, I don't have to do what I'm going to ask you. What do you do with your name? I'm going to leave you right now. Amen. I'm going to ask you to get a kill up for you. Don't worry. But you say when going to the program and get money? That money is busy. Oh, that money you think about you killing yourself, yeah? Look at that money, you can't show them to your death. Oh, wow. Me, I want me to change you. I want me to change my life. I want to be on the street again. If you want me to change, I get over and I say, oh, boy, you want me to change? Oh, wow. My man, you have to be on the street, man. You want to be on the street, man? 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 When I'm back, I'm going to be myself. 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 So that was a very quick drama performed by the Africa youth who have been transformed positively into the society. At this time, we were listening to testimonies, and I want you to listen carefully. And so we will call on so now testimony is down. From Wiki Rescue Conference and tell them what up from Mother of Life. I mean, so that will be here today. You'll give us their testimony. Put your hands together for them as they come. So some of the Gifted. youths who yeah. have been transformed from yeah. taking drugs and positive got into the society will now give testimony. My name is Kefi KK. On behalf of my grandfather, Joseph Nima Braga, Youth and Sports, Minister of General, Moral Rescue Total, I also want to say thank to you. Our small account the streets has started smoking. Do you pass the teacher on so good to do? This is really emotional. An emotional moment here. This girl has been encouraged by UN resident coordinator. Here yeah, at the EJS Ministerial Complex in Congo Town. She's one of the disadvantages who have been transformed into society. 
Really emotional, an emotional moment to right here. And this girl should be there around uh, maybe between 14 to 13 years of age. And here, giving a testimony how she has been transformed from the ghetto to now to the society. I'm here, God, I raise you. We want to see a very big thank you to the government of Liberia and all of the collaborative partners. His Excellency Joseph Raymond Parker, President of the Republic of Liberia, that your valuable support the world's heart did not just win a successful event, but it is an American cause to our back. My name is Terry Rebo, a graduate of the Severe Cadet High School, 2005-2006. A college drop house that I married for the decade, softball level, majoring in drafting and minor in public administration. I started the new jobs at age 12, and my first job was opium. I did opium for just one year and later joined to die. At this time, I was neglected by my family and loved ones. I did not realize the effect that drugs have already caused me. At one point in time in the ghetto, a Nigerian man named Koko introduced me to another drug called Koko Ora. When I started the news rap, the street became my only friend, killing and now robbing with my only companion. After a few months, we set up an arm robbery game, comprising of four members, and supported by a who used to give us arm and drugs. A few months after, I was arrested and sent to the Mauro Central Prison for a period of one year, six months. While in prison, my father died to high blood pressure because of what I caused him. May I so rest in peace that I love him. And up to present, I can look at his grave. My mom left the city because of depression. My girlfriend took away our two kids due to lack of support and disgrace that I brought to her and her family. The whereabout of these two kids is one of my greatest struggles. On November 12, 2018, two members of our gang were killed on a whole road to my market in exchange for fire with the Liberian National Police. After this incident, I decided to quit the game of robbery. But my friend said to me, you have lost your father. I don't know the way the battle of the children. Why can't you keep your fingers on the triples and get some money that will bring happiness to you instead of thinking on your father that is dead and your children that you don't know the way about? And my response was, money and jobs and fun can give me the happiness that my family. So please give me some time to think about this. In my despise, I met Councillor Marlin G. Feka of Mother of Life. She's commonly called Mary Bro. Who, 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 who came to share food and medication to a raised roof in the ghetto of Nyoku Town and asked for my name and said, You have a life worth fighting for. Take my number and come at my office home and door where I started my prevention program. While on prevention, I became a friend of others that did my harming because of things I did. Because of things I did in my past. My fear led me again to the office of home and law requesting rehabilitation. I wish them the government had just learned that I raised you program through the Ministry of Human Schools and the Ministry of Health. Here I am today, free of jobs, but recovery is a lifetime journey. Mr. President, please continue the support. With all your support, our nation will perish. Mama, that grows all we have. I think. So that's it. Uh, another testimony from uh, these youth who have been transformed positively into the society.
and through the instrumentality of the Minister of Youth and Sports, Republic of Liberia. The chief protocol to the president, Madame Winifred Dishu, now takes the podium. The Minister of Justice, Councilor Oswald, and Twin, Senator Taba Fabla, Senator Kemal County, and Chair on Health, esteemed representative of various partner institutions present, honorable guests, distinguished. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, may I present to you His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia, Joseph His Excellency, President Joseph Nyoma Bwakai. So, the first is actually being accompanied by schools of government officials. Good evening, I
been here to meet and inspire our partnership people who are ready to help us leave this country onto a new noble platform. And so doing, I remind all of you to welcome people not merely based on the merit of their capacity, but more importantly, on ability, motivation, willingness, and the character they have to further them to answer calls of nation building, community development, and family enrichment. In the pursuit of these noble ends, that we find it imperative to highlight jobs and substance abuse as the key priority intervention for the rescue mission for the first 100 days. On our 100 days delivery goal, we have this plan on our objective four where we set ourselves to the task of one, making the issue of illicit drug and substance abuse a national emergency. And two, enhancing the existing program and creating additional programs that will move disadvantaged youth and drug addicts from the streets. Three, rehabilitating, refurbishing, and providing drugs, not nah, providing drugs, not illicit drugs this time, providing drug, medical drugs to hospitals, mental health hospitals, and clinics for ensuring that rehabilitated you receive income generating skills and that we integrate in our society. <laughs> my dear graduates, I cannot but do of my heart to you for your conscious decision to alter the path you are on in such a change in life for good. I see you as heroes of your time and circumstance. We salute your courage, celebrate the boldness of your positive thoughts. You did not only choose to escape from the fetters of induced addiction, you took advantage of the opportunity to reclaim your future reclaiming the future. Thank you for making the choice to make. You deserve to be celebrated. Congratulations. I offer to be here in your midst personally today because we went to a new group town for a long funeral service of our late associate justice. I had to come back after four hours of sitting, we had to come back to come here. And it's because I value your resolve and seek to partner with you in a certain <laughs> in a certain great opportunity that will make your life meaningful and fulfilling. Looking deep into your faces, I see presidents in this country. I see pilots. I see, powers, I see ministers. I see representatives in you. You are the great women and men of Liberia in waiting. And the right men of God are the family condition. You made the right choice 
And they charge each of you a million as giving us a platform to help you to get better. Because it is right choice to reclaim the future. It is the right choice to seek for better livelihood and professional skills. It is the right choice to prepare for and seek a job and start a profitable business. It is a good thing to start a family and create space to serve your community and your country. That's the choice we have made. This is why I call humanity. This is the purpose of compulsion and the call to duty. Giving our people the opportunity to make the right choice. I say to all of us that these young people are here because they each made the right choice. Mindful to show them all that we stand duly bound to help them realize the dividends of their good reason. This is why I am here today. Our arrest agenda is all about you. Good folks, irrespective of the citizen life. You young people are the life wire of our country and our most reliable potential for nation building. This is why I want to put on notice the dealers and drugs who have taken an unsavory career in temporary which and polluting the vulnerable minds of our youth and children that they help us to contend with. Yeah. And as they persist in their nation breaking venture of destroying our youth, which amount to tempering for the future and the destiny of our nation were equal with their challenge by leaving no stone on turn in making life miserable for them <laughs> And so we can see without hesitation that this is war. <laughs> Let the drug laws understand that they are in the same scheme as countless criminals committing crimes against humanity by this, this facilitating the future of our nation, future generation. I say now and clear, therefore, that we are showing that from this moment forward, they should expect us to fight them with every legal tool and means available to us. We <laughs> must be seen as enemies of our people, of our nation, who deserve no place in this nation. Yes. We must let them have no rest. No rest. <laughs> Parliament and the future of the government distinguished as on the flip side of the scourge of the drug abuse. We cannot let our guard down. While we fight the supply side, we vow to pay no less attention to the demand side. We will invest in both rescuing the victims and supporting moves that go to reducing drug demand. We will spare no resources in our endeavor to confront the enemies and reclaim our youth at risk. <laughs> this is the reason we have set ourselves to fight corruption. 
those monies can be used to improve the condition and the quality of our youth. In furtherance of our deliverable and objective for, we plan to sharply engage in the national legislature and their stakeholders to facilitate a campaign of mobilization against drug and substance abuse in Nigeria. We will lift and run for this program, bring it the commitment to its objective. Modalities and strategies again are getting it right. Even so, we will rally support for it locally, internationally, collectively. We have to make it. Right. So, my dear graduates, the government of Nigeria is here to prove you right, considering the power decision we made. Go through this positive change. I hereby declare you pioneer beneficiaries, your pioneer beneficiary of Liberia from the front line patriots on the war against drug laws. I <laughs> again to make the right church, you are ambassadors of the rescue mission. We will ask you to lead our tour of Kush joints and ghettos in Monrovia and out of Monrovia. You are going to work with us. Out to your friends, our daughters, and sons, so as to strengthen them to build the courage to follow your steps. I want to encourage them to join this new community of youth that you have just created today. Indeed, the army. Of the community of reclaim you and thank you for your leadership. Sincerely speaking, this is why I sought the opportunity to serve my country and my people as the president of this church. Department. It is hard one to meet people like you. None of you, my fellow citizens and compatriots, are on the move in one direction or another. But without that gentleman there, you are left without what it takes to push you out. So let me reiterate our emergency intervention to this campaign against drugs and substance abuse and the strengthening the courage. The current this youth program, born by the government of Nigeria, the UN joined concept of This will not be limited to 100 days after which we then go back to the sticker school and God forbid. I recognize. So much has gone into this. I want to assure the UN and our development partners that we shall not be wasteful and unmindful of the resources, innovation, and sacrifice we have made. We will strive to remain to be a responsible government. Before I close, let me affirm here that I have to the John Sharon community. And today I met a new friend, the young lady out there who is coordinating the program.
program management of Grace Youth is to be supported by the service providers to say thank you. President Joseph Norman Baca, there, encouraging disadvantaged youth here at the EJS Ministerial Complex in Congo Town, just around the 540 belt. So, folks, we are still here live. This is Spoon TV with me, Sylvester Chiroplay. The president is being accompanied by the senior ambassador to him. Honorable Augustine Conan and the Uruguay ambassador to him, Madame Mandela Cooper, UN resident coordinator, Granke McCanty, Senator Dapla, the U.S. Post Minister, the Justice Minister, and all are here seated. Gracing this unique occasion, and the president was really, really keen to all of the athletic youths who spoke, giving that testimony. And he yeah, showed the, them that uh, his government will do everything possible, possible that uh, the disadvantaged youth of Liberia can be re reclaimed. So now the, the U.S. Sports Minister will now take the podium, make remarks. So uh, we will do the same thing. We will call the first thing. And His Excellency will present the certificate to the pen. 
And then from there, we call the second thing. And we call the UN resident coordinator to the second thing. And just like that. So please, it won't be in order of the program or in order of the certificate before me. So when I call you, please come on stage. And Your Excellency, so for those youth who have transitioned, have graduated from from various ghettos of the school, so the Minister of Youth and Sports will be honored, given certificates, right here, and the person. Where is he? Oh, okay. And we will now give the certificates to them. And this is absolutely a sign of motivation, not only for those disabled uh, that are in this building across Liberia. Please come. Call will be followed by James Mazakwa. Please clap for our people. Thomas Wolape. Thomas Wolape. Okay, he's coming. Where is Thomas Wolape? I'm looking for Thomas Wolape. Thomas Wolape, are you Ebel Johnny, Ebel Johnny, please clap for him. So these are youths that have been rehabilitated and then recovered from the rehabilitation centers across Liberia. And they are now going into the community and for a positive impact. So the president is making the presentation of their gifts. To move for the president, David Yama. David Yama. David Yama. The Lord Bernard will be followed by Randall Gowie. The Lord Bernard will be followed by Randall Gowie. Is Randall Gowie here? Randall not here? Please answer him here. Okay, Randall come here. Brother Gawa will be followed by S. Gwangwe Yeru. S. Gwangwe Yeru. Junior Black, Junior Black, Junior Black, Junior Black, what is he? He's done. Junior Blair will be followed by James Kekula. James Kekula. Please. Would I 
उन्होंने ये अभी मित्र आप ही हो जीवित कैलकुला उदित फॉर बाप प्रॉस्पर बाप कोई प्रॉस्पर बाप कोई Prospo Bakwe, your excellency, I'm going to get to move. Prospo Bakwe, we did follow by Farah Fatoma. Farah Fatoma. Melvin Lee. 
Emmanuel Howell, please clap for Emmanuel. And Emmanuel Kada. Emmanuel Jim O. Kada. Emmanuel Kada is coming, right? And Samuel Fakoli, Senator of Taking. Yes. Samuel Fakoli, please come for the moment here. Anthony General. Samuel Fakoli, Attorney General of the Public. Please come for the moment here. Justice Minister. Clap for Samuel Fakoli. Momo here will be followed by Snorty Mo. Snorty Mo. To be followed by Master. Snorty Mo. Followed by Master Spiker. Snorty Mo. Master Spiker. And Prince Boto. Prince Goto is my first striker. Prince Goto, please come. Please clap for Prince Goto. Prince Goto, follow my third Jigla. Third Jigla. Third Jigla. To be followed by John Pony. Philip G. Lack, Josh Funny. Philip G. Lack, to be followed by Josh Funny quickly. We clap for Josh Funny. Josh Funny will be followed by Anwar Coffee. Anwar Coffee, please come quickly. The Josh Funny. Anna Toffee is coming. Please clap for Anna. Andrew Sakia. Andrew Sakia, please come. Andrew Sakia. Andrew Sakia, will be followed by Ali Kamara. Ali, please start coming. Please clap for Ali. Ali Kamara will be followed by Dyson Reeves. And Dyson is the last for the minister. Dyson Reeves, please come. Where is Dyson? Oh, Dyson, come. Dyson, please hurry up. Please start for Dyson. Why the Senior political ambassador to the president, Madame Madeira. Coco will be coming after the Justice Minister to present back. Maurice Suare, Maurice Suare, please come. Oh, Minister, thank you so much. Maracoba, please come. Please come to Maracoba. And Maurice Suare will be followed by Jim Sesco. Jim Sesco. Jim Sesco. Couple of rectifies presentation. Jim Sesco will be followed by Genesis B. Freeman. Genesis 
at, this, at this moment. Will be followed by D. Man Willis. The wrestler seems very happy. Clapping his hand continuously.
inflando fuma, güey. Güey, pero siempre no. So folks, thanks so very kindly for watching. This is from TV and uh, then coming to you live from the EGS in the Steward Complex. Thanks so very kindly for following.